the mystery, the terror, the hundreds and hundreds of miles of calm open sea. There are stories of ships coming in close to the blue hole and actually being sucked down by the inhalation of Luska. Welcome to Watch Mojo's Top 5 Facts. In this installment, we're looking at five mysterious and eye-opening facts about the Bermuda Triangle, the supposedly treacherous waters between Bermuda, Puerto Rico, and Florida that many believe to be a hot spot of supernatural phenomena. There's clearly something out there that poses a deadly threat to shipping. Number five, the name Bermuda Triangle first appeared in a pulp magazine in the 1960s. Is this about the Bermuda Triangle? Because that's my fourth biggest fear. It's about the B-52's payload. While we may assume that the Bermuda Triangle has been captivating, stunned, and curious onlookers for centuries, the term and popular integration of the term is only around 50 years old. It was coined by writer Vincent Gaddis and first appeared in the pulp magazine Argosy in 1964. That said, its legend spans as far back as Christopher Columbus. According to his log, while traveling through the region, his compass readings were off. This has since been attributed to the compass variation between true north and magnetic north, something modern sea captains know and account for. More suspiciously though, he also reported seeing a ball of light in the distance one night. Many UFO enthusiasts, of course, now say this was an alien ship and not just luminescent ocean life. We don't yet know enough about what we're dealing with to make any kind of intelligent judgments. Luckily, the press is making up their own story at this point. Number four. The triangle is responsible for the biggest loss of life in U.S. Navy history outside of battle. You remember one thing. You screw up just this much, you'll be flying a cargo plane full of rubber dog shit out of Hong Kong. So the U.S. Navy, they're pretty tough, right? Know their way around an ocean? Well, even they fall prey to the mighty triangle. The USS Cyclops is a large 19,000-ton bulk carrier. In March 1918, the USS Cyclops, a ship with a vicious name, was carrying manganese ore. But apparently her optic blast ability couldn't save her. The ship disappeared without a trace, taking over 300 souls with her. Theories range from a bad storm that sunk the boat, capsizing due to a shifting uneven load, or possibly even a mutiny. But let's be serious, we all know it was aliens, right? Number three. A popular theory suggests that Atlantis lies below the triangle surface. No, the lost city of Atlantis wasn't just invented for some underrated Disney movie. Plato's descriptions of Atlantis are incredibly intricate. His writings provide any Atlantis seeker a detailed roadmap. The legend spans all the way to at least ancient Greece. In the early 20th century, psychic Edgar Cayce predicted that evidence of Atlantis would be found near Bimini in the Caribbean. And wouldn't you know it, the famous Bimini Road formation was discovered in 1968. I don't think anybody can uh, dive in Bimini and not believe that these are man-made artifacts. Many people believe the underwater stone wall or road-like formation to be the remains of an Atlantean structure due to Casey's prediction. And though it lies outside the triangle, supporters of this theory also point to sonar scans that appear to show submerged stone structures off the coast of Cuba. That is fascinating. Right? Number two, the Gulf Stream could explain the triangle's disappearances. How long have we been going in this direction? Where in the hell are we? So many planes and ships have gone missing within the triangle, so obviously UFOs are coming down and scooping them away, right? Well, no, probably not. Experts have studied the Gulf Stream and concluded that it could very well be responsible for the disappearances. The Gulf Stream is essentially a river on the ocean. Hold on, that idea just blew my mind. Okay, a river on the ocean that originates in the Gulf of Mexico, travels to the Straits of Florida, and ends up in the North Atlantic. And a third part flows north, where it releases a lot of heat into the atmosphere as the North Atlantic Current. With a velocity of 2.5 meters, or 8 feet per second, it could easily sweep away a plane making a water landing or a stalled boat. But what creates the Gulf Stream? Aliens. A flesh and blood extraterrestrial. Number one. It's not even among the top 10 most dangerous waters in the world. This is so disappointing. So as it turns out, the dangerous and mysterious Bermuda Triangle isn't actually all that dangerous. The deadliest waters in terms of shipping accidents are actually mainly in Asia and Europe, with the South China Sea, the Mediterranean, and the North Sea being the most dangerous. Other hotspots include the British Isles and the Black Sea. The Bermuda Triangle doesn't even crack the top 10. 
It's actually so bland that the US Board of Geographic Names does not even recognize it as a legitimate location, and there are no official files on the area due to its normality. Search conditions today are pretty much ideal. At least, that's what they want us to believe. Because aliens. Is such a thing even possible? Yes, it is. So do you believe in the mysterious war of the Bermuda Triangle? Or has your insatiable appetite for the paranormal been defeated? Yes, well, you know, how did you forget about them, okay? Never mind. For more not scary at all top tens and eye opening top fives, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Yes, thank you for. Mm, yes. <laughs>